Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 188 in the series of basic math. Today we will have our eighth video, eighth lesson on the topic of probability. Originally we were planning to have 10, 10 videos on the topic. I have changed my mind. Instead of 10, we are going to have 15. So this is the eighth one in the series of 15 on the topic of probability. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that a number A, a number A is picked at random from the set A, which consists of 9, 10, 11. We are going to pick one number, we are calling it A. Now the number B is to be picked at random. B is picked at random from set B, which, which contains 3, 4, 5 and 6. The question is very simple, very straightforward. The question is, what are the odds? that the product, their product is going to be an even number. A times B has to be an even number. I'll give you now 5 seconds as always for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Solve the problem yourself, do it yourself first and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Okay? I'll get out of your way now. I'll give you as I said 5 seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Alright, so let's find out how many different ways can we have the product to be even. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Let's start with 9. We can have, we can have 9 times 4, 9 times 4, or we can have 9 times 6, 9 times 6, that's going to be even. Or we can have, when we do the 10, when we do the 10, it doesn't matter what, what we multiply 10 by, 10. 10 times 3 or 10 times 4 or 10 times 5 or 10 times 6 they are all going to be even number they are all going to be even number let's move on to 11 when we do 11 11 times 4 is going to be 44 and 11 times 6 is going to be 66 11 times 4 is an even number and 11 times 6 is an even number very simple very straightforward process we just have to count them there are two possibilities here with 9 there are four possibilities with the 10 and there are two more possibilities when we do when we pick 11 there are eight possibilities there are all together eight possibilities as we can clearly see out of how many total possibilities well set a contains three members one two three and set b has one two three four it has four members so there are 12 there are 12 different possibilities there are 12 different possibilities out of which Eight of them happens to have a product of even numbers. That's it. We are done. It's eight out of twelve. Eight out of twelve, which is same as two thirds. The answer is two thirds. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. This was a very straightforward, very simple problem. Let's do another one, very similar to it. I'm going to raise this thing up. We can have a new set, set A. This time our set A will contain. Again, this time again. Also, as soon as I set it up, you do it yourself. Set A will contain. And set B will contain 10, 11, 12, and 13. And the question now is, what are the odds that if you were to pick one number from set A at random and another number from set B at random, that their product will be an odd number? Do it yourself. Same exact pro. Well, you do it yourself. I I'm going to leave it at that, okay? I'll give you five seconds again to, for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Let's, let's find out, shall we? We want the product to be R, don't we? We want the product to be R. How can we have the product to be R? How can we have the product to be R? What we have to understand here is that if we happen to pick an even number, if we happen to pick an even number, if A happens to be even and B happens to be even, even times even is going to be even. If we happen to pick an even number and an odd number, even times R is also going to be even. If we happen to pick an odd number from from set A and an even number from set B, that is also going to be even. These are all going to be even. They are asking us what are the odds of picking an odd number. What are the odds that their product is going to be odd number? The only way, the only way the product can be an odd number, product of a member from here and member from here, is if they are both odd. 
they are both odd. That's what it is. For example, 3 times 5 is 15. That's going to be odd. That's the only way the product is going to be odd when they both happen to be an odd number. But how many different ways can we have an odd product? It's very straightforward. How many different ways? What can we do it? How many different ways can we have an odd product? Let me put it in a different color so you can see it. It's a very straightforward thing. Here's an odd number here, 3, and here's an odd number here. So there are two odd numbers in set A. There are two odd numbers in set A. And how many says odd numbers in set B? There is an 11 here, there is a 13 here. There are two odd numbers in set B. So there are only four possibilities. There are only four possibilities that the product is going to be an odd number. You don't have to do all the work that we did last time. It was not necessary. That would be a very long process, very tedious way of doing. Uh, that, that would have been a very tedious way to do this problem because of the fact that it has more members. It will require more work. Anyway, this, it, the two numbers here, 3 and 5, 11 and 13, therefore there are four ways we can have a product of odd numbers. 3 times 11, 3 times 13, 5 times 11, or 5 times 13. That's all. How many total possibilities are there? Well, set A has... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 members. Set B has 1, 2, 3, 4 members. But there you go. Set B has 4 members. Set A has 5 members. There are 4 possibilities altogether. On the top, that 4 cancels out with this 4. We end up with 1 fifth. And there is your answer. Answer is A. Answer is A. There is a 20% chance that the product of these two numbers will turn out to be an odd number. And, there is the, and therefore, there is an 80% chance that the product will be an even number. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.